Hero family, happy hump day. Hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, today, I just want to do some uh, fried chicken. And all I want is legs. So, guys, you remember we talked about substitutions? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any buttermilk in the house. So, we're going to make... Um, a quick version of buttermilk. All you will need is uh, some whole milk, either vinegar or lemon juice. I prefer lemon juice over vinegar. That's just my preference. But anyway, let me show you. And I'm going to let this sit probably for about, I want to say, uh, 20 minutes. So we're going to need one cup of whole milk and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir it up, put it in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes, and voila, you have buttermilk. All right, I didn't bring my little, but you need about a tablespoon of lemon juice. You see how simple that was? Now stir it up and put it to the side. And I'm going to soak my chicken legs in it for about three hours. And after that, you guys, I'll come back and we'll do some homemade fried chicken. All right, these are the seasonings uh, we're going to use. Gonna keep it basic, you know, homemade fried chicken in the old days consisted of salt and pepper, uh, maybe onion powder, garlic powder. I really don't know. I just know my mama cooked some uh, awesome uh, fried chicken. So here I have red pepper, I have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So the seasoning here I'm going to use on my chicken, I'm also going to put in my flour. And here I have a, what is this? Six count, eight count of chicken drumsticks. So once the buttermilk gets done, I'm going to clean my chicken, put it in a bowl, and pour the buttermilk over it. Also, I'm going to put these seasonings in the buttermilk, okay? So wait for the buttermilk, get the chicken clean, put the seasonings in, and then we'll let it set again. So if you have buttermilk, then you can skip um, waiting for the buttermilk to curdle, you know, to get that nice curdle. Okay, I'll be back. All right, here we go. Um, I have the buttermilk now. You see I have all the seasonings on top of the chicken. And we're just gonna mix it in this buttermilk and let it sit for about three hours. And I wanna state, I said the uh, old fashioned, my mom never used buttermilk, okay? She put that flour in a paper sack, which I'm going to do that, shook that baby, and fried it. All right, so let's get ready to, uh, you see the seasoning? And now we're just gonna mix these legs all up. Can you see that? And again, if you don't have buttermilk, whole milk, lemon juice, or vinegar. And make sure uh, all of your chicken is soaked down. Okay, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, cover it uh, with some plastic wrap, and in three hours, we'll come back and fry this chicken, baby. I mean, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done, all right? So let's just make sure, you know, it's all soaked in. All right, and believe it or not, there will be no sides. I just want flat, 
fried chicken, and some peppers. All right. Be back in about three hours, you guys. Hey, Riles. I am back. Okay, I drained the buttermilk off of the chicken, and I let it sit for about five minutes. You do not want to add cold chicken, especially when you're frying to a hot pan. And also, I'm using the Crisco in a can, all right? With the cast iron skillet. And the only other ingredients that I added that I did not show you guys was some Spanish paprika and a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch to the flour. All right, so here is my seasoned flour, which uh, I put all the seasonings in. And make sure you take a spoon and stir up the seasonings really well, okay? And of course, I could not find a paper sack because I sure wanted to shake it up like my mom uh, usually do. All right, so I've just got a, a gallon of... Um, a bag. So we're just going to nicely coat the chicken. Alright. Let's take it out. Now it's not rocket science. The only thing you can you can really mess the only way you can really mess fried chicken up if you cook it too fast. So you definitely want it on a medium and let it cook, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say nice and slow, but you know, you don't wanna cook it too fast because you'll have a nice brown crust. And as this lady I told you, she had recently got married and her husband loved fried chicken. And when she brought it to work, it was beautiful. But when she bit into it, blood came out. Oh my God, made me a little sick. And uh, I know her husband was very disappointed. All right, so this is how. I'm just shaking it, making sure the chicken is well coated. And then I'm putting it in my cast iron skillet. All right, let me show you the uh, skillet, and then I will be back and show you guys the finished product. All right, here is the cast iron skillet. And you see, you just want a nice uh, sizzle. You don't want it too fast. You don't want your skillet smoking, so your chicken can be nice, crispy, and done. All right, Royal. When I come back, you will see the final presentation and the chicken. All right, Royal family. Here is the finished product and presentation of just Mrs. O fried chicken. You guys, this chicken is off the freaking chain let me tell you something i did do however which kind of took away my crunch uh when i put my um crisco shortening in the pan i thought i had enough but it wasn't enough to submerge my chicken three-fourths of the way so they had some oil here and I should have known that it was olive oil because that's really all they used. That's really all they use. But anyway, when I put some of that oil in there, I could tell that it changed the texture of my chicken. But it still came out amazing. But don't fry 
I don't even think you can. Well, I know there's some olive oils that, you know, will take high heat. But personally, for me, I won't fry in olive oil. I use Crisco, you know, the shortening to really get a good crunch. But I told you guys, I only wanted chicken and peppers. So I stopped by Golden Chick, got some of the rolls. I have some, I want you guys to see this chili peppers because i'm wanting heat because my taste buds are back and have you guys ever tried the green pepper sauce from tabasco off the freaking chain all right so let me get a piece of chicken so you guys can uh hear this hold on so i want that bigger piece i guess i do hang on I want you to hear this crunch, semi-crunch. Oh my Lord. Then I'm gonna take one of these nice little peppers. Oh yeah. My taste buds are back. All right, you guys, look at this. And this is the green Tabasco sauce that I put on it. But nice and juicy. I hope you guys have an amazing week and weekend. I will try to get one more video in. But you guys, even though I added some olive oil to the Crisco, the chicken still came out amazing. Nice, juicy, and very flavorful. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay connected. And I'm always forgetting, if you like the content on my video, please subscribe, share, and comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And God bless you. I'll see you on the next video.